Hey everybody, how's it going? So in this video I'm gonna show you how to solve your NVMe SSD overheating problem. High temperatures are the PC's worst enemy, and some NVMe drives tend to get very hot. We're going to be talking about these Samsung's NVMe SSDs, which are one of the best drives on the market, but it may also work for other brands too. So let's get into it. So the problem actually lies in the design of these drives. If you look closer on this drive, you can see that the controller chip is slightly thinner than the NAND memory chips. Now let's pretend this is our heatsink, I even applied a new thermal pad here. And if I put it on the drive, you can see that there is a gap between the heatsink and the controller. And that's what happens under your real heatsink. This is why your SSD overheats and starts to throttle down the performance. Of course, for some cooling solutions, the difference in thickness between these components is not a problem, especially if you can use a thick thermal pad or viscose thermal paste. But for a regular laptop heatsink, like this one with a 0.5mm thick thermal pad, it's actually a problem. For example, under heavy load, the controller chip on Samsung N70 EVO Plus can easily reach 200 degrees Fahrenheit, or 94 degrees Celsius, and it's definitely not a healthy temperature. Anyway, the solution is pretty simple. All we need is a utility knife and high-quality thermal pads. I recommend using Grizzly minus pads, and for these particular drives we need them in two sizes, 0.5mm and 1mm thick. I'll put all the links in the description below. Ok, so the first thing we need to do is we need to remove the old pad from the heatsink. And then using rubbing alcohol, clean the surface of the heatsink and the SSD drive that will be in contact with the thermal pads. Next, we need to cut these pads into properly sized pieces. Let's start with a 0.5mm thick pad, which should be 31mm long. And we also need 1mm thick pad, and it should be 37mm long. We cut the pad slightly bigger, so that it can slightly overlap the cooling components. Now let's go ahead and apply these pads to the SSD. So for the memory chips we're gonna use 0.5mm thick pad, and for the controller chip and the rest of these components 1mm thick pad. All we need to do is just remove the protective tape, center the pad on the memory chips and gently press it down, like so. And then repeat the process for the other pad. Alright, so before we move these protective films, I want to show you that there is no gap anymore between the heatsink and the controller. And now we can get rid of these protective tapes. Ok, next slide the drive into the M.2 slot at an angle and gently press it down. Finally install the heatsink. This step might be different on your laptop, which doesn't matter, just put it back the way it was. So, now let's go ahead and check out the temperature difference. So, I got these two identical Dell XPS laptops with the Samsung N80 Pro SSDs and freshly installed Windows 10. The only difference, even though I said they were identical, is that this laptop on the left has a stock thermal pad on the SSD, and this one has two thermal pads from Grizzly, that we just applied. And you can already tell the difference. Unfortunately, Samsung Magician can only display the memory chip's temperature, so let's run HWinfo, which is a pretty cool diagnostic tool. So, as you can see in idle mode, we got 4 degrees difference between the memory chips and 14 degrees between the controller chips. So, what I'll do next is I'll start the SSD performance test, and we'll see the temperature difference under heavy load. And as you can see, we get a max of 63 degrees on the controller with the original pad and 53 degrees with the Grizzly thermal pads. So it's a pretty substantial improvement in heat transfer from the chip to the heatsink. I also want to point out that I'm using Gen 4 SSDs on a Gen 3 capable laptops, which means if you install these drives into a PCI Express 4.0 capable laptop or a desktop computer, they'll become even hotter. And here are the test results of Samsung N70 EVO Plus Gen 3 SSDs. So if you want to increase the performance, reliability and lifespan of your NVMe SSD with the same or similar design, then this method is the way to go. So thank you for watching and I hope it was helpful.